Tell us a little bit about uh, where you live and what your name is. Uh, my name is Yedam Na, and I live here in Andalusia Heights. And my name is Yunbi Na, and le I live here as well with him at Andalusia Heights. Great. So tell us a little bit about what makes this particular property very special. Um, what I think this pro uh, property is very special is that it gives more opportunity compared to other people, uh, such as uh, I was studying, uh, I'm studying kin kinesiology right now, extra science, and going further into physical therapy. But right now, it gives me more opportunity to study uh, personal training, so I'm getting certified as that. Uh, it's special because I can try more dif different things, and it could benefit me in future careers. And uh, I really thank this property because uh, what I received and I could give back to the community is a very special thing and it would be better than what other people have received compared to what I have got from the property. Great. How about you? What, who are you? Okay. <laughs> I am really grateful to be here and be rewarded this um, and supported by um, yeah. partners of N Hope and MCAL. I was able to dream a bigger picture, a bigger goal. Um, if I didn't have um, your support, I would just stop um, at this moment. Um, I would just look for a job after work. But I, I really wanted to serve the community, so I was able to dream to become a pharmacist with wow. your support. Also, I came to child, um, loved taking challenges, and I loved the opportunities that was given to me. I was able to, um, my par I, the scholarship has helped me and my family great, greatly. Last year, my father um, suffered from cardiac shock and almost was at risk of dying. And a week after his discharge from the hospital, my grandfather passed away after due to surgery. And that time was, the, I think, the hardest and worst time in my family and in my um, university college life. Um, my parents had to leave to Korea for about a month and I had to take, I was here um, going to college and staying strong with my brother. And your support was, has allowed me um, to stay strong with my school and my, family, my brother. Yeah. And yeah, I was, yeah, it really helped me a lot to stay at the school and focus more. Yeah. Also. <laughs> So uh, you just identified that last year was a little hard for you. But it sounds like there was a lot of trauma in your family. You know, you had both your father as well as your grandfather. grandfather. Um, it, were they relatives, or was it your dad's dad or your mom's dad? My mom's dad. Oh wow! So you really had a lot of challenge just from both, both sides. sides. Okay. Um, so congratulations on getting through that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell us a little bit when you when you finish your degree? How do you think that's going to make you a better human being in the world? I'm currently preparing and my application for my pharmacy school, and um, through a lot of experience at hospital and pharmacy where I work, I came to value cultural differences and what they go through, and I came to take that account when helping out the patients at the pharmacy. Um, um, as I, when I become a pharmacist, I want to become a pharmacist who remains faithful to every patient that whom I encounter with, and um, help them to achieve the optimal um, treatment and outcome with their health conditions, and also help out with um, their any hardships they go through. That's what I'm planning to do with my career. So. After I achieve uh, my degree, uh, I'm planning to go to a graduate school for physical therapy, but I'm not sure if I'm going to go there right after, but to train myself as a personal trainer and have a nutrition degree. And with that, I want to get further uh, knowledge of what I study, what I want to do. But after I finish uh, college, uh, how I want to give back to the community is that uh, as to open an event uh, such in this apartment to give knowledge of what I learned about what people should eat, how people should eat, and how people should exercise correctly. And by that, people will know how it is important to 
it is important how people to get healthy and that's the best, uh, best way how people should live so I think that would be the most uh, important uh, idea that I want to give back also is that last year I have said that I want to uh, teach like children about how to play soccer and that can we can lead to physical activities to get less obese that's how uh, I think children of this age get obese the highest rates that I've studied so I want to change that to how people can be a bit more physical and mentally physically so that's the way I want to get back to the community.